Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we saw the uh, all calculation part of the point of sale system here. In this class, I am going to teach the crystal report receipt printing, right? So, first I am going to go to add the another form for the print. So, select project, add windows form. This form, I am going to create this one, create as print. That's yes, right, it's a print. Okay, as a print, right? Perfect. Now here, what I'm going to do is here go to go back to my project. Here, this is a print invoice button. Here, when you click print invoice, all the calculation will be done and data should be saved in the database. At the same time, print receipt will be generated, right? So here, after done this message, you have to call the print receipt. So wh what I'm going to do is here first, I'm going to go to uh, add the crystal report to uh, uh, document. So, how to download the crystal report? It when you install the Visual Studio, it is not uh, on the toolbox, right? You have to download that, right? So, how to download is just go to the this website, right? You have to go to the Google and type this one. Uh, you can access this website. This is a website you you can download it. Here, crystal report, right? If you click crystal report link. Here there will be the crystal report part available, right? Here you can download here, right? Okay, installing crystal report. How to download crystal over here? You can download. It's the latest version you have to download. How to download crystal report for Windows 9 here, right? Here if you come down, there will be the link, right? Here there will be two choice developer edition and run down runtime download. You don't download this one. You have to download developer edition download, right? De developer edition means you are the developer, right? If you click this uh, link, it automatically it's downloaded, right? You are the developer, so you have to download the download uh, developer link here, this one, right? So these are the versions supported for this one, uh, developer, right? So 2010, 12, all the versions should be supported here. You you don't have any problem. You have to install this one, right? Very simple. After installed, uh, you have to close your Visual Studio. You have to reopen it. If you reopen it go to the toolbox you can check whether it is it is uh, it is add your report or not here it's added successfully after install and reopen the visual studio here okay okay after downloaded you have to install the crystal report in your system after installed you have to restart the visual studio then only it, it will be adding into the list right under the report you, it is uh, added in the uh, uh, list successfully like look like this right now what i'm going to do is here uh, back to my print uh, here this one right print dot css this page this is a crystal report now i am going to drag right i just size like this now let's drag the report this one crystal report viewer right you just drag and drop right if you drop it is added into the form right it is it's look like this okay now what i am going to do is here first i am going to go to the select the project this is my project right click First, I am going to add the data set first, right? First, I am going to add the data set first, right? That's the thing we have to do. So, go to the add, new item, data, data set, right? The data set, I am going to load these two tables. Which two tables I am going to load? I am going to load these two tables, sales table and sales product table, we have to load, right? So, how to load is, first go to the solution explorer. Here is a solution explorer. Here we have to, right click select this one add connection dot means a local machine SQL authentication SA is a username admin123 is my password now you'll be able to select the database here my database is this one MILL key right you can check this connection is success or not succeed click OK right now here ah, it's not come up not problem no problem here your database is open it so, okay this is your database right now these two tables you have to drag here add into the data set right so first select sales right second one should be the sales product drag and drop here All right these two things added successfully now this this no need to these two stuff select this one right click delete select this adapter this one select this only here 
this adding you have to select right if you select all the stuff it delete all the table right so you select this one heading right select this heading right click delete that's it okay after that after successfully done this build and rebuild solution is building right this rebuilds all perfectly after that what we are going to do is here you have to create a series of report right so after data set is created successfully you can you will be able to see the data set here the data set right it's created successfully I say that it's created successfully. after data set is created successfully i am going to go to create the crystal report so select the uh, project right click add new item here you have to select the, this one reporting select the crystal report uh, you have to give the name whatever name here uh, i leave it as default one click add right here it asks for this one select the standard one uh, okay here you have to don't select this options you only select the project data this one this project data you have to click on the expand this one here adio.net data set i have created the data set so this the same data set i'm going to get it here the, uh, here milk shop is your project name inside the uh, milk uh, milk shop project we have a data set data set one is there uh, data set consists of two tables sales and sales product tables so we have to get them both so uh, first you have to select sales table second sales product table right after the next uh, it is uh, you have to unlink unlink the, this link so here this one should be the uh, sales table and sales product table click this link right click delete link click next after that here it asks to uh, what are the fields there so we need all the fields right sales and sales product table all the fields we need that we have to import like this after that we'll click finish that's the thing we have to right now your report is created successfully now we have to arrange them right here the uh, subtotal pay balance all the stuff are coming under the product under here right okay now here what i'm going to say we have to do the stuff we no need this id we have to remove that click delete the this one no needed subtotal we drag later uh, subtotal we have to arrange like this so here what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to group this one so select the group name field this one right click insert group here insert group uh, subtotal this one okay here click we added the another group here below here here another group in this group i'm going to drag the subtotal all the stuff right so here this subtotal here this one all the stuff you have to drag here you subtot you have to drag like this here simply you have to drag here right second one should be the pay this also drag here this one should be the adding this one should be the data right you have to understand first what is the data what is the, this one should be the data right detail section data adder section is adding right okay if you want to uh, change this one as a sub you can you will be able to send if you need to starting the letter should be uh, capital you made here don't data you you don't ch change this one if you change this one it won't work right this is coming from the database this is dummy text right so here we have to write like this this is a text right okay now you will be align all the stuff you can done right here right? after that balance this is a balance right you have to arrange them like look like this okay you have to arrange them look like this so simple little receipt print for the terminal printer so you have to set the like this after that we have to do here yeah, this is a group name we no need it select this one delete key press delete key no data is there right so here only here after that we have to arrange here uh, we have to get the spaces so here id we this field we no need it delete remove them we need uh, sales id this is coming for the editing sales id is a uh, column as a uh, invoice number so what i'm going to say here say add a add a field i'm going to put it this one is a print date date we have to put it here we need a print date here this automatically coming sales id here put is a data right so sales id data right okay we have to get arranged like this right so after that what i'm going to do is here uh, right you have to write this you have to see the right sales id right right now here first what i'm going to see you have to arrange them this one is a uh, heading right so heading we have to sales id or make above this one here right this is a right here this heading 
this pin this is it also you have to drag above like this right now here first what i am going to do is here this one you have to arrange them this is a product name so product name you have to arrange them here so product name you have to arrange them you have to get the time and do it it's it you can't do quickly okay you need a time to arrange the receipt right so it is good right we need a time you drag like this okay so right simple receipt you have to make like this this is very simple you have to make like this now after that we have to make the size here right okay now here if it is now here we have to reduce the size right so reduce the font size and everything uh, here we have we need adding so that here this this is our sales id this is uh, this one we adding we need a header section so here we need a space right 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 now here so print date sales id we need adding so we have to how to put the adding of above i i put some name right i put the name as to code the toolbox and write the text object here tutors funny this is my name just tutors fun i just put as a tutors fun unless you have to put your milk shop milk shop receipt right milk shop right receipt. select this one if you want to change the text sizes everything you've done by here if you want to increase the font size also here font size is default come here i'm going to make this one as a with bold 12 you can otherwise you can access as a 14 also you put right arrange them like this you will be able to uh, change the font sizes as well if you want to change willing to change this one as like this okay otherwise you have to change monotype it's a you have to type as a monotype it's a monotype type this is a very good stuff for making say monotype it's a if you you can check okay there will be uh, uh, various font sizes are there so font styles are there you have to check it check and import one one thing right so i have put like this uh, italic right bold right okay now you have to check check and put one one thing right so right no problem right now this is the stuff you have to do right right after that i'm going to arrange the stuff so you have to arrange the stuff as a, this is uh, for the terminal printers you have to arrange the size it's a very uh, small print receipt we need that so we have to arrange the size like this it's very important stuff size is very important stuff so we have to the font sizes all the stuff are we have to change it uh, we have to change this all the stuff has been we have to, we have to select all the stuff right all font size we have this all the stuff right you have to change it as a eight at eight so here we have to this one should be then only will be arranged simply right this also will eight Like this is total. Right. Maybe you have to select this one. Right. Now this is the stuff, right? Now you have to arrange them. This all the stuff. Select all down the select all all down the control key down on select all. You have to set as a left line here. This also select or down the control key down select all left align select all so left align your select as left li left align this also select all you have to select as left align right this also select as left align you have to select all the stuff as left align right simple right all the stuff right simply you have to select all right now what i'm going to do is here we have to set up this so also we have to arrange the sizes we have to this is take the time and do it then only it is you can get the nice receipt right you, can, you, you need a time to do it okay now let's change the uh, paper size so go to the crystal report design page setup this is the terminal printer so three horizontal vertical four click ok now we'll be check it is arranged successfully okay it's problems no problem right right it's okay 
Uh, we need another stuff you can check the yeah, it's working fine the all stuff should be working fine now here we have to do the another stuff is uh, here we have to put it one message here thank you come again some we have to write here is toolbox text object thank you come again all right okay now you can check here you have to with this one you have to write like this okay now you have to if you need bolt you can bold it if you change the font style you will be able to change here you will be able to change the font style like this right very simple here yeah. this this font is very uh, very this one you have to change the spelling you have to make this all the heading as first letter should be capital right okay only the heading don't make it as this one also capital okay this also coming from the database right if you make it as simple uh, capital it won't work right this is the heading this is the details right details you don't make this is the details this is the heading right this is this is the, this is the details right identify by the here this one lines right if you want to select all you have to underline you have to remove it this one also select all underline you have to remove it right now it's perfect perfect stuff to done if you change the this font it should be perfect all the text will be selected or make it as this one right simple very nice print receipt you have to change it you can check here very simple print receipt you can check here right uh, if you want to change the font size as little bit bigger you have to change this one as a 10 right perfect so very perfect i can check here after we've done it right it's very simple font right so this one also we have to change the, the same font also and you have to put it as a 22 some sizes right it's very simple it's very nice force, right now what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to check it right it's very simple right this is a simple receipt right now what I'm going to do is here, uh, we have to, this year we need another stuff is we have to arrange the balance and this uh, spaces we have to, we have to cover this one as well. Inside here every data we have to go to the toolbox line, we have to send line object here to draw the line. Right, for line uh, property we have to arrange them, right click, format object. You have to single line or double dash dot you have to arrange them with dot you have to select dot you have to put it there right now here you can change the dot right a dot it's very simple right very simple you have to write right after that you have to do another stuff is uh, you have designed the receipt look like this okay after that i have to connect this uh, receipt into uh my here right my project right so how to connect this is very simple first we have to uh, when you print the receipt we have to send the last inside id into the print page right that's the thing we have to do so first what i'm going to say go to the print page this is the print page right this here this one right here so here first what i'm going to do is here uh, i'm going to go to the uh, page load right page so when the page is loaded the receipt should be loaded so how to at the page load is uh, go to here event this is a uh, form form event load double click load right this load okay now here first we have to what i'm going to say here uh, we simply we have to get the values first first we have to write the same thing uh, sql connection so go to the first form right click view the same connection we have to put it here the namespace sql connection class control c to copy back to crystal report sorry uh, print.c here yeah. we have to paste it control v to paste it here we have to import the namespace sql namespace using system dot data dot sql client this is must the namespace is must okay then only it access the class uh, after the after done the stuff we have to do the another thing is uh, you have to write this sql command SQL command command object also you need it right so SQL command so where's this 
instead of writing we just copy and paste the same two command we needed so paste it here right that's the thing right uh, now what i'm going to say to get the values right so we are sending the values uh, last inside id we are sending uh, relevant id what is uh, if you done the sales if you done the sales what is the last insert id of this one this is a, as a sales id the sales id uh, goes to the print page so there that is that has a invoice number so this is the sales id so this last insert id we sending to which page this way print page so how to we are retrieving how to retrieving is we have write here simply you have to write a function here you have to write simply you have to write here prop p r o f c r o p full you have to write like this right here if you write full press tab key on your keyboard two times it generate the property right you write prop full after wrote you have to press tab key on your keyboard two times it's automatically generate the get and set method right get and set uh, for here right get and set method it's automatically generated okay okay here we are we have retrieving the value so here we have to write this one is a id sales id sales id here also we have to write this one also sales id you have to write sales id you have to write like this is a function sales id right so the sales id says is set up successfully now let's back to my form one here we are sending the value first you have to get and set method you have to set to uh, print page so after that you have to make the sending value so it after uh, sales is completed what you have to do is here we are sending the value into which page that page so after uh, what is the form name you are sending print.css print which page print page this print page you are sending print we have to create the object p equal new print here we have to write p dot sales id sales id mean this this sales id right sales id equal sales id what what is the field you are sending this last inside id fun, uh, variable this one right you have to write the last inside id this one you have to, you have to you have create it here control c copy control v paste here you are sending to that page right after that what i am going to do is you have to write uh, p dot show 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 right that's the thing you have to finally we have to close the connection as well we have to open the connection we still we didn't close the connection finally we have to con dot close close the connection after done stuff we have to close the connection right this is the things you have need full things you have to do uh, after that you have to receive the id here this page right this receive after receive the id is it is simple uh, the sales id is coming from uh, sales id so, so here we have to retrieve the sales id uh in this page right now here we have to this is sales id right sales id is a field right this this sales id you have to get and set right the sales id you are retrieving here right this is the sales id okay here we are sending the sales this sales id method we are sending the last insert id it's coming and you have to set it here get and set method it is you have to call it this this variable right so what i'm going to do is uh, do is here now I am going to write the crystal report part. I am doing the crystal report part. So loading. So we have to write open con dot open. When the page is loading, crystal report is loading, right? Page dot CSS, right? So we have to write here. You have to get a data table. Data table. Create the object dt equal new data table, right? You have to write the query here. You have to write cmd one equal new SQL command. You have to create the two SQL here, uh, two SQL command here, right? So one is a sales table, and another sales product table. So SQL command. So you have to write the first one should be uh, select all from, select all from sales table, sales table where ID sales ID ID equal single quotation double quotation double quotation single quotation in between here we need two plus sign here we have to pass this method control c to copy control v to paste here. what is the id coming here we'll pass this method that's stuff we have to do first right that's the stuff we have to do okay here we have to comma we have to pass the connection object it is must connection database connection the database reside on here right 
So same thing you have to, after that you have to write, we have to load the SQL data reader. You have to load the SQL data reader here. Okay, so you have to write here. SQL data adapter. So your SQL data adapter. SQL data adapter DR. You have to write DR. Okay, right here. Right. After that you have to write here. DR equal, we have to create the object DR equal SQL data adapter. SQL data adapter. We have to pass a CMD. Comma. CMD means SQL command here. CMD1 is SQL command. We have to pass it here. That's it. After the DR dot field. DR dot field. We have to fill the table you have to put into the dt data table that's the stuff you have to do the same thing you have to do the data uh, same thing you have to do the uh, sales product table as well control c to copy control v to paste here this one should be data table i'm going to make this one this one select all from sales product table sales for the product table what what is the id we are getting here is sales table id uh, as a primary key it goes to the sales product table it, uh, it has a foreign key sales id right if there is any mistakes, you have to, you don't understand that one here. Okay. The sales, this ID, yeah, goes to that, the same ID is generated in sales ID here, right? That is a primary key, it's, it's the same primary key available in the sales product table as a foreign key, right? You understand the concept well, then only you will be able to do the programming well, right? So this one should be the CMD2, CMD2, this also the CMD2, right? You have to call it the date dt1 this one right you have to make this one right okay this is very simple stuff you have to follow well okay to load the report in order to load read the re uh, report right so this you have to follow the stuff right it's very important stuff once you open the connection you must close it right after that what i'm going to do is here uh, we have to connect it the uh, crystal report so which report crystal report so you have to write uh, name of the report so crystal report crystal report uh, to this one equal you have to create the object uh, cr2 just I create the object but you can create any name of the object okay it's not doesn't matter you have to create the object cr2 now here cr2 cr2 this object you have created dot database dot tables we have to fetch two tables you have to tables what are the tables you have to put the names correctly sales table set data source dt what is the data you have set it dt this table dt you have set it it's the same thing we have to do the second table control seat copy second paste here sales product table sales product table the dt2 that's it after that you have to write you have to show the report this dot crystal report uh, see, uh, dot crystal report uh, where's the crystal report viewer crystal report viewer one dot report source report source equal this object you have to pass what is the object you have to, uh, you have to pass it here that's it that's the thing this one should be dt1 not to 2 here this one that's simple stuff you have to do now let's check whether it's working fine or not now let's click start strawberry i'm going to order one mango milk order two click add button here we have to pay the bill amount click print invoice sales completed message successfully here it's working fine here it's calculated subtotal pay balance should be there here all the stuff there but i have a problem is the receipt is not come to the full screen it doesn't matter it's very simple uh, it goes to the your print pay, print form here this one select this one this is a crystal report you added you click on this tab here display status bar you untick here this one group tree this is a group tree we have to none click on none Right, that's on the only you have keep the option display toolbox only this toolbox only other stuff you have to off right now you have to check you have to check one this should be one click add click print invoice sales completed now it's working perfectly here now here 
field state shift is working perfectly, right? Here, if you have any mistake, you have to put it here, right? Here, the date is not coming successfully. Now, you have to, what I'm going to do is here, simply, you have to arrange them, very simple. Go to crystal report, uh, main report, here is one, you have to arrange the report, uh, print it little bit here, big, right? Now, it's working. You can check here, it's full running, coming, right? Perfect, right? This is a very simple basic, you have to done. After that, we have to do, when you click print invoice button, we have to uh, print the receipt without show the print preview. So what I am going to do is select the go to the print form, view code, here we have to add the simple code here, this is the viewer, you have to, you can, here, uh, you have to write here is another simple code, you have to write this object, control C to copy, control V to paste here, dot, dot print to printer, you have to call it like this, you have to write here, one, you have to write like one comma false comma zero comma zero it will be print okay here if you call this like this uh, if you want to hide this one and you have to print you have to set the print you have to print now you can check here beside the print receipt print preview it's printing right if you click this one click print one print invoice button here it printed show here if the printer is there it will be printing simple right it's a very simple one you have to done right very simple one, right uh, i hope you guys you understood the thing well if you have any doubt on this lessons you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching